Each specimen collection instrument has a clearly marked expiration date printed on it. Before beginning specimen collection procedure, you must confirm if your specimen collection instrument has not expired. If your instrument has expired, you must discard it and collect your specimen with an unexpired instrument. The person collecting the specimen must first verify that the correct patient is being collected. Ask the patient to state their full name and date of birth. Two separate unique identifiers are required to verify the correct patient is being collected. The patient's identifiers must match the information on the requisition. If the patient is unable to verify their identity, you must ask a nurse to identify them. After the nurse identifies the patient, make note of it on the requisition and have the nurse initial it. You must fully write the patient's first and last name, date of birth, and the date and time of collection clearly and legibly on the specimen after the specimen has been collected. Confirm this information with the requisition and be sure it matches the specimen. Specimens must have two identifiers. Specimens with abbreviations, incorrect or no date of birth, will be rejected. After the information has been collected and properly labeled, you must leave the black carbon copy of the requisition at the nurse's station and make sure to keep the original copy with the specimen. The correct identification of patients and specimens are two of the most important steps in the specimen collection procedure. Proper identification helps to ensure that each patient receives the correct laboratory results and diagnosis.